Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you this is the first time hearing me speak, first let me say welcome. Thank you for the support. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now today I wanted to talk about the topic, ladies, stop dishonoring your men. Now, this happened because I picked up a couple uh, yesterday, matter of fact, and um, as we're driving, uh, they got in the house, I mean, in the car, and I'm like, so how you guys uh, doing today? Everything go well today? You know, nice restaurant. And she's like, yeah, everything went beautiful. She said, but you know, until you run into that jerk, and jerks will be jerks. And I'm like, whoa, so you guys ran into some, some bad people in there? And she's like, no, the jerk is sitting right next to me. So I decided to get off of that subject because I'm like, okay, she had already called my man out. They just got in the car. So the whole time we're driving, she's just calling the man out of his name. Go back to your ex where you lick her private parts and uh, what she don't suck your, you know, going on. I mean, all this kind of stuff. I mean, just totally F you, every word you could think of, just totally dishonoring the guy, disrespecting. And he's trying to be calm. He's like, shh. And she's like, don't shush me. I ain't got to be quiet. I can talk and say whatever I want to say. Just going on and on and just totally dishonoring the guy. Ladies, you can't do this. See, in our society, and the reason for this video is because we're quick as a society to jump on guys when they do that. But nobody, and I haven't heard it, nobody's gut checking women for doing it. And you got to stop dishonoring a guy because the moment the guy speaks back, and if he starts to loud talk her or something, then everybody's going to attack him like he's a bad guy. He's got bad character. But you're not gut checking the fact that here it is. She's been totally dishonoring, disrespectful. Uh, matter of fact, as we got close to the house, we're we're in the middle of the, of the street, the middle divider, and she's trying to get out of the car. And so she's like, "How do you get out?" And I said, "Well, the door's locked when you're driving." She said, "Well, can you unlock it?" I said, "Why? What's up?" She said, "Can you just unlock it?" So I unlocked it. She climbed out of the car and left. And it's just like, wow. And so as he and I talked more, I told him, I said, the thing I was concerned with is I was like, please don't swing on this man back here because and, I could tell that's the demeanor and the kind of personality that she has. And he told me, yes, yeah, she has swung on me in the past. And I'm like, that's another one of those. We jump quickly on guys when you see them swinging on a woman or pushing a woman away or whatever the case may be. And people go, well, as men, you never touch women. But we don't have a challenge with watching women slapping guys, popping guys upside the head, keep socking him in the chest, pushing him, doing everything else. And we just go, well, he's a man. He's supposed to accept it. Well, for me, the challenge comes because the reason that we're saying that is because we have this uh, thought process in our society. Like women are these weak characters and, and they're... Uh, which women get mad when we say how weak they are. But in this particular instance, when it comes to things like that, um, most people will jump on the side that this should never happen. And I don't think you should be hitting anybody, male or female. Uh, my point here is the reason that we believe a man shouldn't hit a woman is because we feel like she's weaker. But at the same time, if a guy beats up another guy, and trust me, whenever fights break out, the person that initiated it is because they felt they could beat up the other person. In other words, the person was weaker. Almost all fights you're going to see, physical perspective, is going to come from some person at least believing, and don't always hold true, they get shocked sometimes, but at least they believed they could beat up the other person. It comes down to the word we call, talk about, which is called bullying. We can't say it's acceptable for anybody to bully. Male beating up on males, males beating up on women, women beating up on men. Uh, for those of you who believe that there aren't women that actually beat up their partners, you're living in a naive world. I've been around and seen women that have been raised in rough environments that fought their entire lives. They got brothers, so all they do is fight. They punch and throw down just like you was fighting a dude. You stand there like this like the world keeps teaching you and we'll get to visit you in the hospital. And again, I'm not saying you need to be swinging on women. That is not 
Folks, do not in, misinterpret what I'm saying here. As I've said before, you shouldn't be hitting anyone, male or female. The whole idea here is if you need to protect yourself, you have to protect yourself. My challenge is, ladies, you got to quit dishonoring from a, a conversational perspective your man. You also, and then some ladies, they'll when they hear this, they'll be like, well, that's if he was a real man, he would have gut checked her. See, that's the challenge. Because first off, and I've talked about this in other videos, you're an adult. Why do you need anyone to gut check you? See, this is not about gut checking. This is a maturity level. Why would you ever get to a point that it would be someone else's job to gut check you? Why would you want to be gut checked? You should have enough maturity to understand you never back a person in a position that they feel threatened because that's the only reason somebody's going to try to gut check you is they feel threatened for whatever reason, whether real or not. At least that's the way they feel, and that's why they're trying to gut check you. So this is a maturity conversation. My thing is, you don't need to be gut checked. You need to just understand, it's, don't push people in that kind of corner, male or female. So my point in this video is, ladies, quit dishonoring these men. And then when he hollers back, the world, of course, will look at him as he's a bad guy. Or if you swing it on him, and I've seen ladies do it. I mean, seriously swinging. And the guy's walking away. He's, do, he's like this, you know, doing everything he can. I've even had people that I know that called the police because they were, uh, they knew they were going to end up swinging because this person just keeps hitting them and won't stop. So they called the police for their own protection. The man called the police. The man called the police. And as soon as the police get there, the man was put in handcuffs. <laughs> Think about that. Because that's the mentality we have in our society. The woman is automatically considered the victim. And the guy is automatically con uh, considered the villain. My point again in this video, folks, please don't misinterpret. I am not saying it's cool for anyone to hit anyone. My real objective is you should only be, if you have to defend yourself, swinging at all. The mature thing is walk away. Quit worrying about, well, I'm a real man and, and, and real men, we, I don't walk away. Uh, what does that say about, why are you so concerned with what people think? Be mature enough to understand I don't have to prove anything to the person standing there acting ignorant or the people that are standing around that want to see something. And um, again, I won't get into that. That's a whole nother conversation for me that I kind of, I stopped watching boxing and, and, and all other stuff a long, long time ago because I thought about it. I said, it's pretty sad that we're in a culture that people are excited to watch one person beat up another person. We're even willing to pay big money to watch this. It reminds me of when we were uh, kids in school and a fight broke out and everybody surrounded, everybody wanted to see, oh, such and such gonna fight. I never went to those. I never wanted to be a part of those. And I'm still like that. That to me is so sad and it's, it's, a, it's a bad uh, look on our culture, our humankind, at least from my perspective, that for us to, to be excited about watching someone whose intent is to harm another person, that's their intent. Is to harm another person and for us to cheer that on. Uh, but anyway, you guys can tell I get I get pretty uh, disappointed in, 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 in the humanistic perspective and stuff like that. Again, I understand when you have to do things to protect yourself. I, I'm, I'm totally for that. I get that. But to cheer and wish people to beat each other. And then again, ladies, um, don't put your man in that position. Don't, don't be swinging on him. And then, um, you know, I remember even uh, my little cousins, it was a brother and sister. And um, the sister, she gets mad very e easily. So she swung at the brother. He moved like this. She missed him. She fell down. Now, she instantly ran and told her mom that he hit her. And, of course, the mom was coming to gut check the son. I saw the whole thing. He never touched her. 
that's my point of where we are as a society. So I explained to the mom what happened, so she got on the daughter's case. But bottom line is, as a society, the sad part is if she had to fail and hit her head on something or skinned up her knees or did anything, all she had to do is say, he did it. And the world would instantly categorize him as a, uh, as a woman abuser, take a, all his character integrity would be questioned immediately and no questions asked. And all because she took a swing missed and hurt herself in the process. But my point again is, ladies, quit swinging at these guys. I always tell people, don't be doing to people what you don't want them to do to you. If you don't want a man swinging at you, quit swinging at men. And again, don't misinterpret. I am not saying men hit women. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, ladies, quit putting guys in these kind of positions where you're badgering him from a vocal uh, uh, spot. Because you guys have seen it in public where she's very loud and very... Uh, her whole intent is to embarrass him and to humiliate him. And folks, why would that be your intent for other people? Because you know people's tempers and everything starts to escalate. It takes a very humble person to be able to stay calm when you're jumping in their face and you're screaming at them and you're demeaning them and them just be like, which is kind of what the world tells you as a man you're supposed to do. And if you don't, they question you. Think about it. It's easy to stand on the sideline. It's easy to say how you would handle stuff because you're not in that position. Folks, everyone, stop hitting each other. Quit trying to humiliate people. And, and, and um, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to get that out today because it really kind of disturbed me when I watched the way this woman was doing everything she could the way she was talking to him, to escalate this conversation to a very dangerous level. And he was doing everything he could to bite his tongue. And he's like, shh, you know, and I was just sitting there feeling for the guy, but I had the utmost respect for him, which is kind of what I'm saying is, is really kind of one of those double-edged swords because I felt proud of him because he was able to do that. And that's what the world says he's supposed to do because he's a man. The challenge I have though, is that can't be acceptable behavior for women to do that, to put him in that position. So again, you guys know it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. And if you haven't had the opportunity to watch my uh, videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Leave your feedback. Uh, of course, subscribe to the uh, channel. Uh, like the videos. And if there's certain topics you enjoy for me the, uh, to talk about, please share those also. I enjoy sharing input, things that hopefully will uh, make your life simpler. That's really my objective. And, uh, more joyful and more joyful. So as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Ladies, start to honor the men around you so that we can start to eliminate all this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.